We're taking it down to you with Ty Tessman. Take it away. All right, thank you very much, Charlie. We're here with your TQ top qualifier here at the World Championship. Ty Tessman in Hot Bodies riding. Ty, you had to work for it. A little bit of ups and downs with the weather and everything, but uh, you got it done. Congratulations. Thank you. What uh, What does this mean to you to be top qualifier at the World Championship? Uh, it means a lot. It's definitely um, a, a goal of mine to, to TQ and win, but TQ is a lot different than winning, so we're going to have to just go into the semis and try to do our best and not make stupid mistakes and just try to get out of the semis into the main. That's the most important and try to make our cars less. Well, tough luck there again, coming out right in traffic there after the pit stop. And, uh, boy, that was a that was a tough seven seconds of, uh, of craziness. Yeah, it was pretty hectic. Uh, I tried, last time I got, was a little bit more aggressive and it didn't work out. So I tried to be a little bit more cautious this time and it still didn't work out. So <laughs> I just, hopefully it's not like that in the main, which I don't think it's going to be. So I, I don't know, just try to, to work my best around it. So what's the plan of attack now in the evening, off day tomorrow? What, uh, what are you guys' plans? Uh, probably just rebuild the car and get it ready for tomorrow and see what the track does and then kind of just go from there on setup and try to visualize and see what we can find on the track and um, tr almost set our car up to see like just looking at the track what we're going to have to do and then try it in the warm up on Saturday. What about uh, tires? What do you decide uh, going to be for maybe the semis and same thing uh, anticipate for the main? If it stays dry, yeah, we're going to do the same tires as we qualified on. Uh, it's the X1 Fugitive, and it's been working really good for me. So if it stays dry, that's our plan. But if it rains, then who knows what's going to happen. All right. Well, best of luck to you, and enjoy the somewhat day off tomorrow, and good luck in the semis. Thank you. All right. There you go. Ty Tessman, he is your top qualifier. We were wondering how it was going to work out with three TQs earlier in the round, then the rain and stuff, but uh, it all worked out in his favor, and he is sitting right now on the top of the leaderboard here at the World Championships. So back to you, Charlie, in the TLR Broadcast Center. Good stuff there. Uh, Ty, happy with his TQ. He wants to TQ and win. That's the goal. But that TQ jinx can be a tough one. Yeah. I've, I've seen lots of TQs not even make the podium over the years, but... Yeah. Uh, Ty has good plan. He's got luck on his side. I think it was the Nats in Texas two years ago. Truggy, he was hands-on favorite to win that one. They lost a drive pin out of the back. It was back Buggy. Of it. it was Buggy, that's it right. Was it was Buggy. He won Truggy, but they had the failure in Buggy. Thanks, Mike. The racers always know this stuff way better than I do. I'm slightly clueless most of the time. I was a little bit of a better factor from that. So pointing out that Ty Tessman running those new fugitives. He's rocking their new clear wing as well. Yeah. And... Uh, the new Super Fuel Gun. Proline, the headline sponsor of the broadcast, bringing this broadcast to all the fans back home. We cannot thank them enough. <coughs> so we want to thank you guys for uh, joining us for nonstop coverage here on LiveRC.com of the 2014 IFMAR World Championships, brought to you by Proline. Folks, we're going to step away for a small identification of our station, and we'll be right back after this. So uh, working our way through the program as we are one, two more races to go. Race nine on the track. Don't forget to listen for that start tone. Wow, that is, ouch. These guys are bringing them in the pits roughly 45 seconds to the start. It's usually when they start bringing them in. Hi, Jason Rona. Jason, I, I was uh, commenting today is that I wish that I had his temperament for temperature. The dude never sweats. He wears a di he's wearing the same shirt that I have on, just a different color, and I am bleeding sweat through it all day long. He doesn't even have any moisture on his head. He rocks jeans all the time. I think he's got high socks under there and like two pairs of underpants, just because he feels cold. 
Long underwear. He's got insulated underwear on. VRC Pro Track Cam. Bring you a nice shot here of the pit lane. Ten seconds from the start of this one. We are off and rolling here, race number nine. We're gonna finish on 10 today, and that'll go do it for the qualifications, but don't move. We will be here doing pit interviews for as long as we can, and we'll be back in the Team Losi Racing studio with Scotty and myself talking about all the action that unfolded today. There was some weather this morning that was totally awesome and not that awesome for some drivers, shaking up the order. We had uh, lots of different TQs throw their gauntlet down. Ty Tessman, though, Pro-Line Factory Pilot from Alberta Hat, Canada, taking the overall TQ. As Scotty is down in the J-Concepts pit report with Ryan Mayfield in just a second here, folks. Give us a moment. We're getting that queued up for you.